this is Matt from Chez Pascal in the Worst Kitchen. Today's video lesson is on searing, and we're using this fellow, lamb loin chops. So I've asked Kristen to join me on this video so we can put together our pan sauce. And in order to do that, we need a few ingredients, very simple. So first we have our lamb, we have stock, we have wine, we have some minced shallots, we have butter, a little bit of herbs, oil. So do you remember in some of our earlier videos we talked about deglazing? Because that's really what the focus of this video is on, is deglazing. I kind of remember a little bit from our previous videos, if you haven't seen them yet, on stock making and... Stock making. And stock making. That's really what we're building on. So we have stock. Right. And wine. We do. And the deglazing part has to do with using these elements to create flavor? Exactly. Is that right? That's okay. right. So, so basically that's it. So we've taken a protein, we've seared it, we've talked about it when we did um, our stocks, the bones create fond, mm -hmm. bits of meat caramelize. You deglaze it, then we were using water or remoulage because we had discussed those in, in previous videos. So it's just all about building and working up to a point where you can successfully put together recipes and feel comfortable. And that's the whole idea of these video series is that we're building from the beginnings and we're gonna work to a point when we start creating recipes and we're gonna be using terminology mm -hmm. that, Great, that, that we've, we've discussed. The and then Great. you'll know about it or you could then go back and reference well, what does it mean to deglaze or emulsification, all these things. Okay, great. So today we're just, we're learning the techniques. Techniques. Not necessarily a recipe, but the techniques right. on how to do right, these right. things. Right, right. So the idea would be we're going to sear the lamb, we're going to create the fond, which is the caramelization of the meats. Mm -hmm. For the pan sauce, what we're going to do is we're just going to add the addition of minced shallots, maybe some fresh herbs. Then we deglaze. Now we talked about when we're doing stocks, deglazing with either water. For this, we want wine in addition to stock because the wine is gonna give it flavor, it's gonna give it acidity. It's also nice to have on hand when you're cooking. And because you might be drinking Maybe. it. Maybe. So those are the basics. Then we're gonna finish a dish, we're gonna go real simple. You know, basically the whole idea of this is kind of using what you have on hand. We're gonna run up to the roof. I think there's some spinach that believe it or not, has been overwintered. And generally overwintered spinach is a little hardier, a little, let's call it tougher, because think about it, it's been up in the cold all winter. So we're gonna lightly wilt it with some red onions. Mm -hmm. We're gonna finish it with a little olive oil a little bit of our homemade vinegars, which mm -hmm. will be discussed in later videos when we make vinaigrettes and emulsions. Uh, really simple, pour the sauce over it, and then we're gonna finish it. Remember this? We used to use this a lot, persillade yep. and also gremolata. Gremolata, yes. So a it's great a, finishing for me. Yes, yes, beautiful. So now that we're back, we're gonna actually sear this lamb. Okay, and searing is the first step to making the fond, correct? That is correct. Hey. You can't have a fond without Searing first. Did you get that? Hey, I did. <laughs> um, okay, turn the burner on. So we okay. want to use, we're using, oh, so also too for, for searing, it's really important to use a nice heavy bottomed pan. Stainless steel preferred. Okay. You can use a nonstick pan or a Teflon coated, um, but we're really trying to get high heat and we do want the fond to sort of stick and caramelize. So, so a pan like this is best. So you've turned it on, right? I did. Now we're gonna use a little bit of a olive oil, canola oil blend, so okay. right there. Just a little bit just to coat the bottom of the pan. And just pour it right on it. Yep, just enough to coat. That's good, oh, goodness. that's good. There we go. And then what I do is I just move it around just to coat the coat bottom the, pan. Yeah. And now we're gonna turn the heat up just a little bit just to get it going. So when searing, you want the pan hot to sear, then we're gonna back down the heat to about a medium heat because we can burn the fond. Mm -hmm. You can burn what you are searing, which would create a bitter taste. Mm -hmm. So while that's warming up, let's go ahead and season our okay. lamb loin chops. So we chops. have our lamb loin. Yep. And, and now, Matt, these have been sitting out or right. Are these right from the fridge? No. So what we like to do when we're searing sprinkle? meat or, or grilling steaks, let the meat come to room temperature. It's a really important uh, technique to know, especially if you like your, your proteins on the rarer side. It gives the meat some time to acclimate to room temperature. So if you do cook it rare, it's not cold from the refrigerator. So okay. this has been sitting out for a little while. So you season both sides. Both now, sides. Now go ahead and flip them she over. Not do. Come here, little guy. Sprinkle, now keep sprinkle. in mind, yep. Keep in mind that when we season products, sprinkle, sprinkle. There's more than just this component going into a dish. 
So if you over-season everything and eat it, it's going to be too salty. So you want nicely seasoned, but mm -hmm. remember we can always finish it. We're going to be doing the sauce. We're going to season the sauce. So we, okay. have, we have time to, to continue Play making around it. with yes. it a bit. So now that the pan, I can see, you'll start to see the oil getting a little wavy. Yes. You don't want it to come to the smoking point. Okay. Because you can burn oil, meaning it would impart a sort of a, a bitter taste. Yeah, it's just <laughs> gross. You don't want that. So it's nice and hot. Yeah. So remember, now we're going to add the lamb in. Put it in and away from you. No, away. Yep, yep. Just drop it down. That's great. Perfect. Now next one. And the reason why she's doing this is because you don't want that hot oil to splatter on you. Yeah. Now let's go ahead. It's nice and hot. You can it's see it's smoking. Very hot. Yes. Now let's lower the flame. Now this is, that's an important part because we want it hot like it was, but then we need to back that heat down. Yeah. What we're looking for is color, correct? correct? We're not necessarily looking to cook the meat. We want to get this really nice color. Right. We're looking to caramelize it. That's So depending on how hot your pan is will determine how long you want to cook this meat, right? Right. So we, cut, we, we sear it on one side to get this beautiful color, and we flip her over. Yeah. Three, four minutes. In the oven. In the oven. And then we're going to take it out of the oven, yep. and that's when we're going to degrease it. Yeah. We're going to remove the lamb to rest while we make our pan sauce. Beautiful. Okay. okay. Well, here I go. Yeah, that's good. Okay. it be a great time. We'll, we can run up to the roof and maybe see if there's some spinach for our salad. That sounds good. Great. All right. We'll go do that. This going. So this spinach we planted in November. Yeah. It's been overwintered. There's no way to heat it other than this plastic film. So there are some, some leaves that have been damaged, but it's okay because we're going to cook it. Wow. So, so I'll, just, I'll just snip a little bit. Okay. All right. And we'll just get it to we'll bring here it down. Here we are in March clipping some spinach. That was planted in November. That's pretty cool. And this will just keep coming back. We snip it. We'll have to pick nice, some of the veins nice off. Yeah, it's definitely hearty, so it's definitely better to wilt it, in my opinion, than as a salad. Mm -hmm. There's some mustard greens that have come back. Really That's pretty lovely, amazing. Isn't it? But you can see that this is from the frost. I mean, it just got too cold up here. Yeah. And it, it sure definitely is. doesn't get enough water because I don't have a way to water it Ooh, during the winter. One guy down. All right, that should be good. We're just going to lightly wilt this. Okay. Hey, all right, so we got our fantastic spinach from the roof. Right, so, so we just went up, yep. picked some spinach. Uh, so we're going to lightly wilt the spinach. Okay. We have some red onions. We're going to do just a little bit of salt, pepper blend that we have. And for this, we're going to use extra virgin olive oil to lightly wilt the spinach. Okay. So we have heated up our pan a little right. bit. And we're using uh, extra virgin olive oil and not the blended oil right. this time. And why is that? Because for this, we're not getting it very hot. Mm -hmm. We're using it. This, we want the flavor of the olive oil to lightly wilt the spinach. Okay. Whereas before, we were going high heat. And olive oil has a low heating point, so it would scorch and smoke much uh, sooner. Okay. So that's why we use that blended mm, it smells oil. Good, just and also, that. too, for price. I mean, we use a lot of that cooking oil in the kitchen for general cooking. We wouldn't want to always use extra virgin olive oil. Okay, so we have a little olive right. oil in there. Now add all your onions. Yep, we're going okay, to just gonna lightly put these guys some. In. These are just some sliced red onions. It's so pretty. Yeah, I think they go really nice. Yes, get in there. Right. Okay. Now go ahead and stir them about. Hmm. Just, just the, yep. And now let's season them a little bit. Alrighty. Any second. Whoops, a doo. A little bit of salt, pepper. Sprinkle. This has salt, pepper, chili flakes, fennel. Yeah, that's about. That's perfect. Nice. Yep. And now they're gonna they're gonna wilt down quickly. And that's great because we want a little bit of crunch left in the onion. So let's add that spinach that we picked from the roof. Just okay, we're right just gonna put there. the whole thing in. Right in there. Yep. And just there's a little bit of water on yeah. there, but that's gonna create steam, which is gonna help wilt the spinach. Mm, yeah. It's so hearty. What I find easier to do is we can use our tongs mm -hmm. and basically take the stuff that's on the bottom and sort of flip it over to the top. Oh, yeah. Look at how quickly that's wilting. Yeah. Yes. So it'll wilt very fast. Now what we can do is we wanted to, we can turn the heat up just a little bit because we've introduced the spinach, uh, a little bit of water. We're not worried about the olive oil burning, but we want to steam the spinach. We want to get rid of that excess moisture, mm -hmm. which is the water, just like so. And I think with spinach, I don't like to take it down completely wilted. Mm -hmm. I want to have a little bit of integrity left. So okay. I'd say like this is great because what we're going to do is we're going to let this rest mm -hmm. and then we're going to finish our lamb, make our sauce and put everything together. Okay, beautiful. All right. So I'm going to take this and one thing we like to do a little trick in the kitchen, wilting greens, they tend to put out a lot of moisture and it'll run on your plate. So what we do is once we wilt something, yeah. 
So we'll, we'll Should take shut this it. off? Yeah, you can turn it off. All right. And we actually are going to just, we would rest it on a little bit of like paper towel, or we use these things called seat fold napkins, mm -hmm. just like that. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull up any extra moisture. So when we make our plate, it doesn't run onto okay. the plate. Oh, yeah, because it never looks yeah. so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this will be fine like this for a couple minutes yep. while we put together our sauce. Okay, great. All right, Matt, so these just came from the oven, so they're nice and hot. Right. And now we're going to do the whole process of we're making our, make pan our pan sauce. sauce, right? All right, so what I'm going to do now is just remove the lamb. Correct, and you can put it right here to rest. Because what we're really looking for are all these beautiful bits down here that you're calling the, the fond. fond. Right. What's resting in this pan is the fond, and we also have some grease in here right. that we don't want we in do our want pan grease. sauce. Okay. So now we're gonna make our pan sauce. Okay. So again, those ingredients were minced shallots. Mm hmm We have some fresh herbs, just rosemary we're using. Rosemary <laughs> pairs really nicely with lamb. Okay. We're gonna deglaze first with wine. Yes. Then we're gonna add our stock. This is our veal stock. Okay. We can make lamb stock with lamb bones. We just happen to have veal stock. That's primarily what we use in the kitchen. Okay, and we and did make that in one of our previous videos, which is great, so now we're using right. that application today. And then we're gonna, we're gonna thicken the sauce or emulsify it with butter. Mm -hmm. And Yum. that's gonna lead into another chapter in our series when we make vinaigrettes, we talk about emulsification mm -hmm. and, and what that's all about. So butter, what butter does is it cuts the richness from the acidity and it gives a nice mouth feel and just makes it really, really mm, delicious. Yes, butter delicious. makes everything exactly. better. We've removed the lamb. Yes. And now we're gonna create our pan sauce. Yes, right? which is why we came here today. Exactly. All right, so here we go. Shallots. Shallots first. Yep. More we go. Yep. Now let's get your spoon and Fast, fast, fast. That. Because this happens quickly. Stir, stir, stir. Oh my goodness. Oh, you gotta hold this because it's hot. Hold it. Got it. All right, keep stirring it around. That's great. So, this is important when we're doing this step right here. Well, it's important to have someone to help you do the dishes. Also, make sure we have all our mise en place at hand. Okay, we reference, you know, we talk about mise en place being so important. This sauce can go so quickly mm -hmm. that in a minute you could burn it and all that time we've invested in it is ruined. Mm. So the shallots are looking good. So now what I want to do yeah. is I'm going to do a little rosemary because I like just the freshness of rosemary okay. with lamb. Head on in there. Right in there. Yeah. I'll all right, just keep that's going. good. And now we want to deglaze. And okay. we're using wine, which can um, ignite with an open flame. So remember we've discussed that. Yes, we we're going to pull this away. away. Because we don't want flame. a big flame. Here we go. And then we're going to add our wine. Whoosh. Whoa. Okay, that's good. That's what we want. Yeah. Now put that back on. Wait. Really? Yep. Yep, yep. No, it's okay. Just, yeah, you don't need to stir as much. You can swirl it a little bit. I'm not, I'm not lefty. Oh. My swirling is not very so good. So when you add your spirit, you want to let that reduce. Because remember we've discussed we're adding flavors. We're building on... Um, you know, the foundations of shallots, good stocks, wine, reductions. Okay. So you want to let this reduce. Yep. Now, real quick tip, if this were to over reduce and you started to get nervous, splashing it with a little bit of water is okay because water would just stop the cooking. Mm -hmm. It'll evaporate. So you're, you're not, not gonna really lose losing. Flavor. Okay. And another technique that I should be talking about is we could be using a brush. Remember we talked about oh, that yes. in our stocks? Yes. So brushing the sides. Yep. So we get all these little all bits. All the flavor. Yep. So that looks great right now. So all now right. I'm going to add the stock. All right. All right. Step back a little. Yep. And we still have this on like a little low flame. Low flame. Yep. And again, you don't need much. So this you is don't... our stock, our exactly. veal stock. That's perfect. So we're going to let that reduce again. Yes. Everything's settling in now. Perfect. Right. Yep. I'm just going to feel, okay, it's cooled down a little bit. So we're just going to swirl that. Now let's lower the heat a little bit, Kristen. Now, this is the little tricky part. We're going to emulsify the sauce. We're going to add a fat, bean butter. It's going to make it rich. It's going to thicken it. And it's going to make it taste really good. Okay. Now, one trick, you could add a splash of cream. Cream will stabilize it, so it enables you to, to add butter safely. But we like to live on the edge. And I know you can do it, Kristen. <laughs> okay. So look how nice and... I mean, yeah, that looks good yeah. actually. And, and that smells really oh, good. Oh, it's great. And that's the difference between making stocks. If you make a stock, you get great flavor, really good body. Mm -hmm. And it's intense. It's intense. Yeah. So now we're going to turn it off. Okay. So we're going to shut the heat down, let it a minute or so, because if it's too hot and we add the butter, it could break. It could get greasy. Mm -hmm. So another thing that we've done is I've cubed the butter mm -hmm. small. 
and I've let it come to temperature, so it's room temperature. And that'll just help it melting. Okay. So now, you're So this is kind of settled down a bit. So now you're gonna, now, you could swirl it in like this. Yeah. But if you're not comfortable doing that, I'm gonna add the butter. Yes. We're gonna turn the flame back on low, yep. and you're just gonna start I'm whisking a, it in. I'm better at whisking than, than swirling. So I'm just gonna turn this on. And as I add the butter, Kristen, just start, just whisk, just keep moving. There we go. Goodness. Now another trick I learned when doing this, if it was too hot, and you happen to have, let's say, maybe a gin and tonic that was on ice, you can grab an ice cube when no one's looking and throw it in here. <laughs> the ice cube will cool it down quickly. You're just adding water, essentially, a maybe a little bit of gin. unusual technique you I have. Know. Turn it off now. Yep. It's gonna be hot enough. This can, you cannot let this boil. Once you've added your butter, you've made the emulsion, don't let it boil. If it boils, the fat will separate and it's gonna taste greasy. And there's a real difference between a properly emulsified sauce and a greasy sauce. Okay. And the same thing happens with vinaigrettes, and that's what we're going to cover in a future video. Broken vinaigrettes opposed to a properly emulsified vinaigrette. It's such an important technique to know how to do. Nice. Now how do we know how much, when butter? do we stop with the whole butter? Yeah, yeah. just keep adding butter. Okay. I'm looking, really what I'm looking for is thickness. It cools a little bit, it's definitely going to get thicker. Get in there, buddy. So once this is made, our lamb has been resting. Our spinach is still warm from wilting. We're gonna assemble the dish, finish it with our gremolata. Remember we talked about gremolata early? It seems like hours ago. It does seem like hours wasn't. ago. I'll take this. So next, we're gonna make our dish. Okay, here we go. This is why we're here. <laughs> we finally, we have our pan sauce, we, we which was sauce. the purpose. We have spinach that we lightly wilted, we took from the roof. Yes. A Little bit of red onion, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. We have our seared, lamb, mm -hmm. loin chops, and gremolata. Remember we talked about that? It's parsley, lemon, and garlic all raw. It's meant for finishing. You mm. put it on something that's hot, just coming it's off beautiful. the grill. beautiful, just brightens it the up. Oven, screw the spinach. And again, I have it in this towel just to absorb the moisture so it doesn't leak out onto the plate. Yay. Because mm -hmm. we work so hard to create this sauce, emulsify it, and then if we put the spinach down and all the spinach liquid ran on the plate and then we put our sauce on, we're gonna lose the mm. flavor of the mm -hmm. sauce. So I think this seems trivial, but it's so important. Okay, so we have our spinach. All right, spinach, so we're gonna put that right there. Yep. And it's just, we're gonna arrange, we'll just put one like so. You're very proud to eat your spinach. Yeah, just like this. Lovely. And then just put some sauce, just. So I'm just gonna, yep. gonna with just my. Swirl it around and just kind of glaze it over the loin swirl. chops, a little nappe of sauce. Nappe, hey. Nappe, not Lovely. sleepy. Lovely. Over the lamb. Oh my gosh. Don't be. I am very don't be, timid. Don't. Oh, it looks so thick and delicious. And that's and because can, we emulsified it with butter. Butter, but yeah. But you can also make other types of emulsions, and that's what we're going to discuss when we get into vinaigrettes in another series. See, I tried to get a that's little fancy, fancy there. Okay. And now what I like to do, is that good? just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, I think gives it nice flavor. Mm -hmm. We're going to hit it with, this is, remember we were making vinegars last season? This is from Ramp Greens, Whoa. steeped in a distilled vinegar, almost a year old, filtered, bottled, and we're going to be using them for finishing. Nice. So I think this is a nice little touch. I mean, we're going to use gremolata, which has lemon, but a little, just a little drop. Just adds a little extra. A little garlicky Special. flavor, a little, little zip. Yep. And now go ahead and sprinkle the gremolata That's on my, the meat. I'm a good sprinkler. Sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle. More. That's it. That's nice. Easy. That looks great. Right? Yeah. So it sounds complicated, but if you have all your mise en place ready, and this is something you definitely do, and you shouldn't be rushed, you should be enjoying cooking, you're going to make mistakes, things are going to happen, but that's how you learn. So. Great, so we did our pan sauce today, building off of stock Stocks. and going forward. Yep, making vinaigrettes, nice. emulsification. So again, the idea is we're building, we're building, we're building, and to the point when we feel like we have enough of a catalog of information, so when we start making recipes, you can reference back to say, oh You'll my have God. your foundation yeah, there. Foundation. Yeah, foundation. How do you Beautiful. make a pan sauce? How do you deglaze? Nice, excellent. Great, well thank, thank you. Yeah, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. So it's nice to have a little arsenal of cookbooks for reference. I know there's the internet, but going through books is a lot more fun. This is a favorite author of mine, Ann Willen, and this book, Cook It Right, basically explains everything. And there happens to be a great little section all on sauces. 
So it's just a really nice reference book to have. And another book by her, French Regional Cooking. Doesn't really have anything to do with what we discussed today, but it's a great book to own. Actually my favorite book of hers. Hard to find, which makes you want it even more. So it's definitely worth looking for.